Hello and welcome back to another edition of Check It Out. Okay friends, I am 12 weeks out on my hip surgery. I will go over that today, tell you how I'm feeling, how the hip is healing up. I'll tell you what the doctor said today at my follow-up. And I will also let you know what he's telling me about my future. Hmm. All right, guys. So it's been a long, long, long 12 weeks. If you've been, uh, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, I had hip surgery for torn labrum. Once they got in there, they realized there was torn cartilage. We had a hip impingement, so they shaved off part of the bone. It was, it was pretty extensive, and it sounds like my surgery may have been a little bit more involved than some of the other people here on YouTube. So keep that in mind if you're uh, looking at getting a surgery like this done. But I will get, tell you about my story, and keep in mind that is just my story. I'm not in the medical field. This is not medical advice, so on and so forth. So, But it might help you to gain some, I don't know, understanding of what other people are going through if you're getting ready for a surgery like this. So here's the long and short of it. 12 weeks out, and at this point, I'm only 10 days off of crutches. So in other words, I was on crutches almost until 11 weeks. Now, I did start weaning off the crutches, and I was able to start putting a little bit more weight and a little bit more weight starting at week 8. But it took me a good 3 weeks, from 8 weeks to 11 weeks, to get... Well, for that weaning off period, I figured it would be like a week, maybe 10 days at most. That was not the case for me at all. It took me a good 20 days to sort of roller coaster ride a huff of uh, crutches. And the, the reason I say it that way is that I would have a day where it felt pretty good. And then all of a sudden towards the evening, my hip would really start to ache. So I'd go back onto the crutches and it, it was kind of a back and forth. And then the next day it might be uh, sore enough that I had to be on crutches the whole time. And it, it was it was kind of a pain in the neck, and it was uh, at times uh, discouraging, to say the least. But I think what I really learned from it is that uh, don't overdo it, and that's what I keep trying to tell myself and also my physical therapist, which I'm going two days a week now and have been, uh, keeps kind of giving me the same advice. You know, just kind of listen to the leg, see what it feels like, and then you can take off some weight or add some more weight back on, depending on what the hip is sort of saying to you. Now, the challenging part is that my hip would feel pretty good and then it would kind of sneak up on me and then even though it felt pretty good and then I'd go back on the crutches like halfway through the day and then that evening or the next day would be really sore. So it's almost like going to the gym for the first time after not going for a long time and if you've ever had that experience where you kind of like work out pretty hard with the weights and stuff and you feel pretty good and then the next three days you're like, oh my goodness, my muscles are killing me because I overdid it that one day. And it's, it's kind of a similar scenario to that. So that, that's kind of my learning progress is if I had to do this again, I would wean off even slower and, and really try to take it easy on that and understand that it's just a long, slow process. So I am, um, I'm going to say 95% walking normal. And I do have a small limp in my step and sometimes it's a little bit more noticeable at least I feel like it is, and sometimes it almost completely goes away, but um, it's still it's still interesting. I feel like I've almost had to kind of learn how to walk again, and I know that seems weird or whatever, and of course you can just sort of, you know, I can walk, but how to walk normal, like without any limp, even though the pain might not be that bad, it's surprising. I'm surprised by how hard it is to do. So I've been working with the physical therapist, and again, it seems to be getting better and better. So here's what the surgeon said today. Number one is, I am where I'm supposed to be, but he just kind of warned that it's just a long process. And that also I'm in my 40s and he's kind of reminding me that where sports injuries in the past, I seem to really bounce back a lot faster than expected. And now I'm kind of at a normal sort of timeline, if you will. And, and really that might be partly because of age, partly because of just a hip is just a tough thing to uh, bounce back from. It's just a long process. So here's what he said is, don't even think about any major sports, especially not any kind of impact sports. But, um, and not only that, but the normal walking I do in my day, he was like, you know, keep doing that. That's fine, back to work, all that kind of good stuff. But don't add any walking. In other words, like getting up early to go walk around the block a few times, that's not going to help me at this point. At 12 weeks out, I should just 
sort of do a normal day and try to almost minimize my steps. Don't add anything extra if I don't have to. Um, kind of like that. And, you know, if I really wanted to get back in exercise, he was like, jump in the pool, that would work for you. Um, maybe some real low impact stuff like that, like uh, getting on the uh, um, stationary bike, he was saying that would be okay too. But no, no heavy weights, no heavy physical activity, essentially. And as far as the future goes, he said expect to do about six more weeks of physical therapy at two days a week. I was not expecting to hear that from him. I was hoping I was almost done with the physical therapy, but he's saying that it's really going to help me, especially now that I'm forward, sort of uh, over the hump, if you will, of, of um, on my way to recovery. But he was saying that actually this is a really important part of the physical therapy, and they'll kind of really start pushing that hip and pushing my body a little bit more to get me back to 100%. So anyway, I mean, it's kind of fine with me because my insurance pays for it, and they've I have good insurance. But it's just kind of challenging. I've got three kids, a wife, occupation. So it's just hard to get in there. So if you're up against a surgery like this, just keep in mind, you know, it's a lot of physical therapy. It's a lot of exercises that I do, uh, two sets of exercise each day, morning and night. And those take me about 20 to 25 minutes to, uh, to do those exercises. So it's, um, it's been a little bit overwhelming, to be honest with you, just trying to juggle kids, family. The crutches was hard and the physical therapy. And it's just... It's, it's got a lot of layers to it that this surgery has added on. So other things that the surgeon said is that um, about six weeks out from now, he's saying, you know, I might be able to gently put back in a little bit more um, athletics and, and physical activity. But he said that it really will not bounce back to uh, heavy impact stuff at all. So he didn't get too detailed. I'll have to kind of figure out what that said. But... His, his point that he did end with was, you know, I was kind of asking him, like, when can I get back on the mountain bike and can I go surfing anytime soon or, you know, things like that. And he was kind of hinting more that this surgery for those kind of intense athletic sports that I should plan on being about a year out from surgery date for those kinds of things. And that threw me back a little bit. I felt like some of these things... I didn't really fully understand before the surgery. I don't know if it would have changed anything for me, but I was a little bit surprised. I, uh, I didn't expect to hear that from him. Um, so I'm not sure how much of that has to do with my age or whatever else, or you know, I'm not in great need. In other words, if you're like a professional athlete and you had to bounce back, obviously they could do something with the timeline on this. So I'm not sure how much of it has to do with that. But anyway, he was, he was kind of saying like, take it slow, take it easy. Don't be in a rush to bounce back from this thing and uh, find some ways to get some exercise that aren't going to be too tough on the hip, the swimming, or the uh, stationary bike, and just kind of settle in and, and be patient is, is the big thing. And I've said it in my other videos. If this is the first one you're watching, subscribe to this channel. You might as well hit thumbs up. You can check out the rest of the playlist I have. I think this is probably the 30th video or so that I've made on these. And uh, I haven't done one in a couple weeks, though, and I apologize for, for that. I told you guys I would. But um, it's, again, it's been a, a roller coaster of the last couple weeks. So anyway, friends, looking back at this, I will kind of give you a little bit more of uh, looking back if I had to do this again. Somebody left a comment and said, you know, what's the big picture of what I've learned, what I would do the same, what I would do different. So I'll kind of end it on this, that the last 12 weeks, again, it's been pretty trying the day-to-day, -day, I feel like I do okay, but looking back, I think I would have gotten more help. In other words, we have in-laws that could have come into town and kind of helped out, and we said no to that. I think it would have been smarter to have them come for a longer period of time and uh, help out with that. And the driving was challenging. There was a certain period of time where I couldn't drive. So if you do have the surgery coming up, um, you know, take note of how long you can't drive for. I was kind of lucky my surgery was on my left leg, which meant that I could get back uh, in the car a little bit sooner. But uh, part of that has to do with the surgery. Part of that has to do with the medications and pain pills and all that kind of stuff, if they're going to let you drive or not. But, um, you know, th that, the big takeaway was accepting a little bit more help and then also trying to take things off my plate. Like I coach my kids at different sports and stuff. Um, if I would have realized that this surgery would have been this long of a recovery, I would have not signed up to do those kinds of things and just really tried to simplify my life for the six months 
after the surgery. So even though I'm only three months out, I can see the future here that this is going to be about another three months at least that I'm sort of at this next stage of recovery. Yeah, I can walk around. Yeah, I can do these things. But at the same time, I'm slower than I used to be. That leg gets tired. I, I can't, you know, I can't do any lifting or anything like that of any serious weight. I mean, I can go grab, you know, the milk jug out of the fridge. But as far as like going up into the attic on the ladder and like putting something into the attic that's kind of somewhat heavy, like I was trying to do that the other day. And, uh, you know, that, that couldn't be me. My wife had to do that instead of me. So all that kind of little stuff. But it it's, seems like little stuff. But for me, it just keeps piling on and kind of adds stress to uh, myself and especially to my family too. So anyway, guys, I hope this video has helped. Do me a favor. Put in the comments if these are helping you out or not. I can't decide how often I should be doing these videos or if I should just cut it off here and maybe do another one in a couple months. But uh, maybe I'll try to go back to like once a week and see if I can give you guys some updates. And if you have any questions, again, if you put them in the comments, if it feels like it's a sort of common sense answer or from my experience, I'll be happy to answer them. Keep in mind, no medical advice here. I can't really help you out with that kind of stuff, but I can kind of tell you about my experience and uh, what to possibly expect if you have a similar surgery, something like that. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Bye for now.